welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making a chickpea and eggplant stew. It's delicious, uh, one of my favorite uh, winter recipes. Very yummy and I'm going to be serving on top of quinoa. If you're not a quinoa fan, you should try to become a fan. But if you really, really, really don't like it, you can use uh, brown rice. So let me show you my ingredients. Um, of course, eggplant, which I will show you where it is in a second. Um, I have salt and pepper, garlic, olive oil, shallots. I'm going to put everything, um, you know, the quantity of everything uh, below. If you want, um, instead of shallots, you can also use um, onion. I have oregano, dried oregano, bay leaves, cinnamon stick, Chickpeas, um, also for chickpeas, um, if you can just make your own, you know, just soak them, uh, the grains, it's better. If you're going to opt for the canned version, make sure that it's organic and you rinse them off before you use it. Also here I have uh, chopped fresh parsley, um, tomatoes, uh, canned tomato, and um, I use uh, the bouillon, I think that's how you call it. We use a lot of this in Brazil um, instead of chicken stock. Actually, this you're gonna make chicken stock with that. But if you have chicken stock, or if you rather um, do vegetable for a vegetarian option, um, you can use vegetable stock as well. And our beautiful crock pot. For this recipe, you're gonna need two eggplants, good size. I left this skin on one of them, and I you know, took the skin off of the other one. Um, I learned a trick in Morocco at a cooking class to get the bitterness out of the um, out of the eggplant. You cut them in slices, put a little salt on top, and let it sit for 20 minutes, and then you're gonna wipe it dry and turn it, you know, flip it upside down, put salt again, and the same thing, wait 20 minutes and wipe it off. That takes the bitterness, uh, which I'm not crazy about with eggplants. And um, I've been doing this a lot. Um, also, because you're using the salt, um, you won't need as much salt with your recipe. Um, after I did that, I put in a, you know, in this pan and I put in the oven for with 400 degrees for about 25 minutes just to roast and get our eggplants ready for cooking. This is me. Um, I'll be adding um, ingredient by ingredient for you. I'm turning my stove like a medium heat. Um, I'm gonna add about like a like a tablespoon of olive oil. Um, I'm gonna add my shallots first. We're gonna cook this first before we um, we add the other ingredients. So like I said, I'm rather using shallots just because it has like a milder flavor, um, you know, instead of the onions. But you can use um, whichever you like. So, it would be either two shallots or about a one full whole onion. All right, so after about, um, I would say three to four minutes, your shallots or onions are gonna get a little brown and crispy. So you can add um, a couple of other ingredients. We're gonna do the garlic. One at a time. I love this smell. About two teaspoons. Oh yeah, just put the heat lower a little bit. Two teaspoons of the oregano. I just eyeball it. Ooh, yeah, looks delicious. 
the cinnamon stick. Um, it doesn't need to be a big one. Let me get one. It should work. Smell just gets better and better. Salt, pepper. Now I'm gonna turn it very low so I don't burn anything. So I'm gonna skip the salt for now. Just put a little bit of pepper. Keep stirring. A little bit more of the olive oil. Getting a little dry. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is the um, is the chicken stock or vegetable stock, whatever you rather. Um, so the way that I make with the bouillon is I get we're gonna use two cups of hot water. So I'm just going to add that. Beautiful. And I just crumble this into my mix. And like I said, you can use either vegetable or um, chicken. So I'm going to stir, stir, stir. Awesome. We're going to bring this to a broil. And um, keep stirring occasionally for about five minutes. And then we are going to add this mixture to our crock pot. While you're bringing that into a boil, I will cut our already pulled off eggplant. I use the scissors because they are just much, much easier to handle. And what I'm going to do is put everything that I cut already in our crock pot. So I know it sounds like a lot of work, but it's really not because while you're doing one thing, you can get the other done. So just like little cubes. Um. Okay, so my um, stock mix, it's already boiling. I'm gonna add this mix to the crock pot. Everything is already cooked, so it's not gonna take forever to be ready. Be honest with you, you can just simmer it and it would do the same. I don't want to leave anything behind. All right, so here's our crock pot. I'm gonna move this so you can see what's going on. Um, and I'm gonna add the chickpeas, make it mix it all together. Beautiful. Now I'm going to add a little bit more water, about a cup. Hot water. And my beef. If you notice, I did not put salt. Um, I'm gonna wait to do that. Um, I'm gonna do two little ones. I'm gonna just wait to do that at the end because you might not even need. Depends on what kind of stock you're using, if it's low sodium or not. So it's just better off wait until the end. We don't want a salty food. So after cooking for two hours, 
uh, on low setting, I added my tomato and I drain it first so it's not too soupy and I also put um, the fresh parsley and that's it. Our dinner is ready. I am gonna post a picture for you of the final product on a plate um, in a little bit and like I said I recommend to serve with quinoa or brown rice um, and if you really want to go over top saute a little bit of baked spinach and put it on the side you'll be amazing. Um, before I say goodbye I just want to mention something. I've been getting a lot of comments and posts and questions about what else I do um, to stay fit, what do I eat, if I'm a vegetarian or not. It's really funny. Um, thanks so much for all that. I love, I love reading all the messages and all the feedback that I've been getting. Um, so to be honest with you, I've been teaching Zumba for what would be about four years now. Um, and Three months ago, I found out about a nutritional cleanse that I started just because I wanted more energy and make sure that I was nourishing my body properly. Um, and I cannot stress enough how much that changed my life. Um, my performance in classes got better, my health generally got better, my hair got better, my skin got better. Um, I did lose almost 10 pounds, which I didn't even think I would have 10 pounds to lose. Um, like lean, lean muscles, you know, build lean muscles, grab it up with some like unwanted fat. So if you want more information about that, um, just contact me on Facebook. I would be really, really happy to share that with you because somebody shared it with me and changed my life and was a gift. So if you wanted that same gift, um, just let me know. Uh, on Facebook and I will personally contact you, I'll call you and I really hope that you that you try it out. Anyways, I also hope that you liked our recipe today. Make sure that you make it and post some comments and I will see you around. Thank you so much for watching.